Hey gorgeous, I am so excited to be here with you today and I want to talk to you about something I've been hearing from so many women recently. It's the concept or the idea of having been magnetic at one point in your life and then either you were magnetic when you were younger or before you started dating or when you were dating and now you're in a relationship. But regardless, what I'm hearing from so many of you is, I used to be magnetic and now I'm not. How the heck do I get it back? And so I want to talk to you today about how you can start taking steps forward to getting back to your magnetism. But first, I want to talk about how we were all magnetic before. So have you ever seen a little girl playing dress up and wearing like rainbow tights and a tutu and a bright green shirt and I don't know, maybe a silver bag and like a hat, right? She just doesn't give a you know where I'm going with this, right? She's just so excited about playing dress up and whatever feels good. She, it doesn't matter what she looks like. I know that I used to be that way and I know that you used to be that way, right? I used to believe I was this star. In fact, it's kind of a running joke in my family when I was really young probably before I could write because this is written in my dad's handwriting and from what I was told, I dictated this poem to him and he wrote it out. And it is called Lauren Star. The poem itself goes something like Lauren, Barin, Starin, and there's more, right? I am bright or something like that. And so aside from my not amazing poetry skills at the time, as a little girl, I knew I was a star. I knew I had this bright light inside of me. And I know that you have felt that way, that you were that little girl too, or you have felt that glimmer of radiance and magnetism at some point in your life. And I also know what happened to me was getting a lot of messages that it wasn't okay to be that bright, or I wouldn't have friends, or even from other little girls who were jealous or whatever it was, right? So that brightness, that star, I just closed it down. And I know that you probably did too, right? Which is why you're sitting here asking me, Lauren, I used to be magnetic and I'm not anymore. How do I get it back? One thing I hear a lot from women too is, you know, they're younger, they're dating, they meet their man, they get married, and now they feel anything but magnetic, you know? So I want to talk to you about steps that you can start taking today, right now, to start getting back in touch with that magnetism, that light, that brightness, that star power that you have inside of you. So it, not that it depends on, on in which ways you want to be magnetic. So uh, these tips are going to apply to all areas, but I think especially when it comes to men and being confident, these tips are really, really important. So the first thing is really getting a handle on and cultivating your own beauty and radiance. So you're going to hear me, you hear me say this all the time, and I'm going to continue to say it till I'm blue in the face. Your idea of beauty or what makes you feel beautiful does not have to and should not look like what mine looks like, right? You all know I love me some makeup. I mean, if I could partner with Sephora so I could get some free stuff, you know how much more money I would have? Please, right? I love makeup. I love jewelry. I love doing my hair and getting my nails done. That, to me, those I consider in some ways beauty rituals make me feel amazing. If you're not a woman who loves to wear makeup, don't, right? If you feel so beautiful, I don't know, wearing essential oils or... Um, maybe a little bit of lip gloss or no lip gloss at all. Maybe you feel so beautiful when you're out in nature and you're camping. Whatever that is, start to cultivate it and bring it into your life more and more and more until it becomes a ritual. So when I go and do my makeup every day, I consider it this kind of ritual. I've created a whole new station for it. If you haven't seen my Facebook Live, go over and join the Magnetic Woman Soiree. And you'll see my Facebook Live. I show what my beauty station looks like and, and what I do. And I'm also going to be doing a makeup tutorial there soon. So make sure you join the Magnetic Woman Soiree on Facebook, okay? 
So really start to cultivating a, a beauty ritual or a ritual where you're really honoring how uniquely beautiful you are. Remember, remember that little girl who's in rainbow tights and the tutu? She's wearing that because it feels good, not because someone else thinks it looks good, right? So during the day, start checking in with yourself. Like, how connected are you to that feeling of what is lighting me up? Not what do I think I need to do for other people, but what is lighting me up? I know you're sitting there and you're like, um, but hello, haven't heard you say anything about men. When you start to cultivate these things in yourself, you become like honey and the men are like flies and they just swarm on in. The more you do things in order to get the guy's attention or to try and convince him that you're worthy or pretty or something to be looked at, the more repellent that is to men. So in order for you to become magnetic, especially when it comes to men, you really need to go within and start cultivating what makes you feel amazing. And I just want to give you this frame of reference that you were this young little girl, or maybe it was when you were older, and you felt that magnetism. So again, that's why my entire business, all of my coaching is about helping you tap back into that. It's not learning something that you've never been associated with that you like is completely foreign. It's not like I'm like, here's Mandarin. No, it's something that is so intrinsic, so natural to you, but you've covered it up. You've shut it down. Society has told you it's not okay. Culture has told you it's not okay. Other people have told you it's not okay. So what you have to start doing is kind of clearing that dust off and starting to uncover and tap back into your natural magnetism. So today, go out, put some focus on what makes you feel really beautiful. And during the day, check in with, am I truly connected to that feeling of what is lighting me up, not what I think is going to get something to come in. Okay. I hope this was helpful for you today. Again, if you want to see more live stream videos um, and get awesome more new content, make sure to like my Facebook page and join the Magnetic Woman Soiree. Again, you'll see my whole beauty station set up there and you'll also be seeing a makeup tutorial coming soon next week. Okay, ladies, have a wonderful day.